Hi, Rock Buddies. It's Papa. And today we're talking about igneous rocks. But before we do, I just want to say hello and hope you're all doing well and prospering this November 2021. And if you find this video to be useful or interesting or entertaining, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because that's the way I know that my material is getting out to you. And once again, always send me comments. I respond to all comments about anything whatsoever. So let's get started with igneous rocks. So what is an igneous rock? An igneous rock is a rock that comes right out of the mantle. So what is the mantle? The mantle is a gigantic ball of plasticky molten rock it's located five or ten or fifteen miles below the crust what is the crust the crust is where we live it's the cooled uh, top of the mantle and it's made out of bunches and bunches of rocks think of a loaf a rounded loaf of sourdough bread from panera bread if you cut that thing in half you can see a cross section of it you can visualize the white bready part in the center as the mantle and that dark, thin, thin, dark crust on top as the crust. So why is the mantle hot? Because when the earth first began, it was a big ball of hot gas. The forces of gravity began to work on it and that gas began to coalesce and shrink down onto a center of gravity. And as it did, it got very, very much hotter, the super hot. It got so hot that it ignited nuclear fission and fusion reactions that made the mantle super hot. Now, the mantle would be a liquid. It's so hot. 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know, but it's super hot. It would be a liquid, except that it's under tremendous pressure. That tremendous pressure keeps it as a plastic a very very hot plastic solid it's way hot enough to be a liquid uh, but because of the great pressure it remains a solid but it's a plasticky solid yes the mantle is a hot hot plasticky solid and there are these heat currents moving around in it they call them convection currents it's like if you put some eggs on to boil. You know, the eggs don't just sit there. But as the water boils, they start bumping around, bumping around. That's because the bottom of the pot gets super hot compared to the water at the top of the pot. So that water at the bottom of the pot gets so hot, it expands with that heat. Anything that has heat added to it expands. The molecules bump around like crazy. And so that water rises up. It rises up to the top, moving the eggs around. When it gets to the top, it gets cool. So it falls back down around the sides think of a lava lamp have you ever heard of a lava lamp you know that goop in there when it gets hot the electric light or whatever it is that heats it up that material gets hot and it slowly raises up to the top and then it spreads out and come back comes back down that's what's happening in the mantle these convection currents going on all the time perhaps very slowly so these mantle convection currents cause these long linear hot spots thousands of miles long to erupt on the surface of the earth sometimes under the ocean and sometimes under land an igneous rock ig lava that cools and forms igneous rock is formed so that's a major source of igneous rock on our planet when a mantle hot spot causes the eruption of igneous rock in the form of volcanoes onto the surface of the earth, whether it be in an ocean or on land, that is called rifting. Rifting. Rifting creates and expands oceans. So how does rifting create and expand oceans? oceans well picture a supercontinent a supercontinent is a gigantic continent on the face of the earth that contains all of the land on the planet we have had several supercontinents in our time the last one was called pangea and 
somewhere around 300 million years ago, a hot spot developed underneath the supercontinent Pangaea. This hot spot was thousands of miles long, and it caused these hot, molten, igneous lava material to erupt underneath the continent, splitting the continent open along this line thousands of miles long. And this hot spot that was creating this new igneous rock was creating ocean crust on either side of the hot spot. And that ocean crust was pushing out, pushing out on both sides. So it broke the land apart and put an ocean in between them. And if you look at our mid-Atlantic ocean ridge today, that is a rifting location that started out underneath the continent, supercontinent Pangaea, and broke it apart, creating an ocean in between the two parts. The western part is our North and South America, the eastern part, Africa and Europe. So let's review. Mantle hot spots cause rifting. Rifting splits a supercontinent apart by injecting igneous rock into the middle of it, separating it into pieces and creating an ocean. Mantle hot spots cause rifting. Rifting gives rise to igneous rocks and creates and expands oceans. Rifting creates an ocean by pushing igneous rock up and out on either side of this hot spot. And that material that's being pushed out on either side of this rifting hot spot is made of basalt, lava, and gabbro pluton, which I'll talk about in another video, and that is called ocean crust. As more and more new ocean crust is being created at this hot spot rifting site, the ocean crust get on either side gets to be greater than the circumference of the earth. This is kind of like trying to put the skin of an apple around a grape. There's not enough room and something has to give. So what does give? Well, some of that new ocean crust gives. It breaks and a big piece of it is pushed deep down under the adjacent piece. That is called subduction. Yes, subduction. One piece of the broken ocean crust is subducted beneath the other piece next to it. And this is the second way that igneous rocks are produced. The piece of ocean crust that subducts is pushed deep, deep, deep down back into the mantle where the ocean crust is melted and recycled into land crust. Yes, land crust, the other kind of crust on the face of the planet. There's ocean crust. We know that it's created at these mid-ocean ridges uh, where continents are broken apart and oceans are put in between. And then when, sub, when a piece of ocean crust breaks and subducts underneath another piece of ocean crust or under a continent, you get more igneous rock and that igneous rock forms land crust. And that's how our continents are made. Think of the islands of Japan. The uh, China Sea ocean crust has broken and is pushing down, deep down into the mantle. and it's melting and the pressure from all that additional rock is causing volcanic eruptions that erupt onto the surface of the ocean, creating the islands of Japan, creating new land crust. And eventually those islands will get smashed into the continent of Asia up against China and new land crust will be created. Okay, so we've talked about how igneous rocks are produced at a hot spot rifting center like a mid-ocean ridge that creates ocean crust. And then we talked about 
uh, igneous rocks being produced when ocean crust breaks and is subducted under other ocean crust or under land crust, and that produces igneous rocks called land crust. Those are the two kinds of crusts that exist on planet Earth, ocean crust and land crust. Now, the third way that igneous rocks are created that I know of is when two giant continents smash into each other. Continent A smashes into continent B, and when it, as it's riding up on continent B, it pushes the land crust of continent B deep down into the mantle where it melts, and all that rock, whether it be igneous, sedimentary, or metamorphic rock, is melted and reprocessed into, guess what, igneous rock. So those are the three ways that I know of that igneous rock is produced on our beautiful earth. So I hope this video has been helpful and instructive to you. Uh, I'll, in future videos, I'll be showing you examples of all the igneous rocks. Um, and in the meantime, if this video was good and you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. That's how I know that the videos that I put out are reaching people. And also give me comments about anything on your mind that you want to talk about. All right, have a great day. Papa out.